Sevi Ballesteros is a true legend of the game of golf. With a record 50 European Tour titles, five major championships, four Ryder Cup winning appearances as a player and one as a captain to his name, the Spaniard is well placed to have his say on the sport. So we sat down with him at his home in Petrina on the north coast of Spain to get his take on a range of topics. Here's what he had to say. I went to St Andrews the first time, I have to be honest and I have to say that I didn't like it. <laughs> I say, well, this is the golf course that uh, I don't see any trees, I see bunkers and, uh, all over the place. And, uh, and when I was playing the first, the front nine, I see bunkers, I say, what the hell, this bunker is, is here. I mean, this bunker is not even in play. And then I really realized that coming back, that bunker was in play. And, uh, but uh, sometimes it's the, it's the type of golf course that uh, the more you play, the more you like it. Jack Nicklaus, uh, to me, is remarkable what uh, he has done, and uh, I think uh, the best, uh, the best uh, thinking uh, player uh, on the course. Never make any mistake himself. Watson, uh, what I recall from Watson is that he was an incredible putter. I mean. Uh, Unbelievable! It was. Uh, it looks like he, he has some magic on the hands. Uh, unbelievable! How many parts he hold. Watson, a tremendous champion. <laughs> Watching 1977, and it was uh, similar to Nicky Price and myself. I would say, you know, it was uh, fantastic, and uh, it was great. Uh, what happened on the 18th? You know, when uh, Nicholas uh, made the long part, and, and Watson needs to, to hold his. It's an unbelievable second shot, and uh, it was uh, it was remarkable uh, that uh, that um, match and to watch that uh, that tournament. <laughs> Going uh, through all the years and watching all the players, uh, and he's he's for sure the most complete player of them all. You know, he's long. He's good with, with the medium irons, good with the long irons, good with the short game, and uh, he's a tremendous competitor. He has that, uh, what I would call, uh, that killing instinct. I think he's focused, uh, you know, 100% on what he's doing, and he doesn't care uh, about anything else. That's why, you know, he's uh, such a great competitor. So, he's, he's the best. <laughs> Norman was uh, uh, a great champion. He is a great champion, and he was a little bit uh, unlucky, you know, uh, not winning, uh, not being able to win more uh, more majors. I think uh, he has a tremendous potential, uh, fantastic uh, off the tee with the, with the driver, long and straight. He was uh, a great champion and a gentleman on the course. What he did, it was incredible because he was a good player before he decided to change the, the swing. And uh, I mean, to change the whole thing is uh, and become a, a great champion like he did, it was remarkable. The Ryder Cup, uh, you know, was always uh, very special, you know, because uh, I always enjoy very much playing uh, match play, and uh, it was. Uh, I really believe that uh, I was uh, I was an inspirational uh, for the for the team uh, every time I was in, on the team. Always nice to be the Americans. They, you know, they, they were on the top of us uh, uh, for many years. You know, and to be able to, to break the through and and, and, and and to be the Americans, especially at uh, Mirfield and, and uh, Nicholas uh, course, that was a very special moment too. I did a lot for uh, for my other uh, colleagues. I think uh, I become the reference uh, for them, and, uh, and that's why you know Sandy Lyle and Nick Faldo, Ian Wusnang, and uh, Langer, all of them become champions. That was uh, it. Made me feel very good.